Hello. First thing I want to do is just acknowledge my journey with you for the past 22 years. Yeah. It has been the single most profound thing. It has changed my life on immeasurable ways, even more than Oprah. <laughs> now we know that's not possible. <laughs> it is. It absolutely is. And I was here in Chicago four years ago, and I just manifested all this money and bought my dream car, and I took my entire salon up here. I had this amazing experience, and I lost everything. I Good. went through this, like, yes, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. It was hell going through it. But you didn't lose your vibration. I did not lose my which vibration. Which is everything. In other words, all that other stuff. But I lost the stuff. Oh, good. Something else to create. Exactly. Because a lot of times the stuff that you've got hinders the stuff that's coming. It did. I was so scared of losing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your vortex has really improved since you gathered it all did. that crap. It did. <laughs> it did. It did. And about two months ago, like I can't live on the planet anymore unless I meditate. Like I just can't, it, my, it freaks me out. I can't, I have to meditate in order well, to say be. that in a different way. Okay. I do better when I come into alignment first, because yes. when I proceed into my day in the receptive mode, I have a much better day. Yes. That's how it goes. And I love it now and I'm embracing it now. Not something that I do. It's just something that I enjoy mm -hmm. getting into alignment before. Because now I'm a real estate agent, which I never thought would ever happen in a million years, but I absolutely love it because it's like unlimited. It matches who I am now. Yeah. Two months ago, I was in meditation and you came to me and you said, come see me in today. And you gave me the day and you tell me where I was at and I go online and sure enough, you're here. And I'm here and we're supposed to have this amazing conversation. We want to have a conversation <laughs> because we can't use you as an advertisement when you say, hey, Abraham. <laughs> I've been with you for 22 years and I've lost everything. But the good news is. So ordinarily we wouldn't sell you a ticket. <laughs> this is true. The reality is I've been having this insane path of or insane synchronicities that are absolutely blowing my mind about are you telling us that thoughts are turning to things yes all right do you have anything else you want to talk about that's not boring <laughs> and normal no we'll hear you i know i just recognize this this thing it almost looks like a v and i had it you know like everything is almost exact like i went to the bottom i'm doing everything on a completely different level now and jerry was a financial counselor for many years he was helping people figure things like that out and one of the first things he asked us when years later he began visiting with us is, Hey, Bram, why is it that people so often need to go all the way to the bottom before they start bouncing up? He said, they always do. They always begin bouncing back. But why do they have to go so low? He said, first it's the boat and then it's the second car and then it's this and then it's this and then it's this. And it's like the slide continues to go down until it's all gone. Why is that? And we told him years ago, what you just told us that you recognized. It's the attention to what you're losing that holds you in that vibrational place that makes that the reality that you are carving out. Doesn't have to be that way. You could slide a little and take the bounce from it right then. But so many people are pressing so hard against what they do not want that they're letting that be the basis of their vibrational offering and therefore their vibrational point of attraction. And so at any point that you take the bounce and turn around, you can expect that things will go way, way better because during all of that contrasting time, first of all, you'd put so much more in the vortex. The momentum of the vortex is so much stronger, but it also requires then more discipline of focus to not allow yourself to go back in a sort of post traumatic war syndrome type thing and focus upon those things that caused you emotional pain. Then in other words, you've really got to accept that all of that is to your advantage. We have two very important stories to tell you, and you've undoubtedly heard them before, but we're going to tell them to you again. So two people in the same week came to us with similar stories. One, a woman, an artist coming from New York out to California. She had her portfolio of all of her magnificent artistry in her car, in these boxes. She was going to Hollywood. She was going to present herself as a set designer and someone broke into her car and took it all. 
and she said so here I am with nothing to show she said I have lost it all and we said you have not lost your talent you've not lost your point of attraction you've not lost your vibrational prowess you've not forgotten who you are as an artist and anyway that portfolio no longer represented what you have to offer now it was a distortion of who you are if you show what you painted five years ago ten years ago fifteen years ago really she had some of that in her portfolio or even one year ago or even last week it does not represent who you are now we said go present yourself as you are now the other was a man who like you had built quite an empire he had lost it he was in his 60s he said Abraham how can I ever begin to start over now it's taking me all these years to get to that point and now it's gone and we said to him you have not lost your point of attraction you don't understand what that vibrational version of you is you have not lost your point of attraction your point of attraction and all that power of desire is there you can turn things around so quickly all you got to do is get in the receptive mode it doesn't matter what you have you're not amassing stuff anyway you're amassing your ability to attract stuff to create stuff to manifest stuff manifestation is an easy thing once you get into that vibrational place where you're allowing it to manifest don't drag your manifestations from before around with you and use those assets as your reason to express your prowess to the world that's not your prowess to the world you present yourself to the world vibrationally you present yourself to the world attitudinally you present yourself to the world in terms of your mood it's your point of attraction it's what you are allowing the universe to deliver to you now the ideas now the rendezvous now the circumstances and events now you hear people talk about oh they got their big break well we say they finally got into the receptive mode and so often when people get their big break they don't stay in the attitude of allowing another and another and another and another and another because they think that big breaks are scarce they're not it's receptive modes that are scarce it's you being in this receptive mode that's what's scarce that's why when somebody finally figures it out and they become masters you want to say oh well they're a master because they struggled and they did all this and they dragged their body through all of this and they've lived all of these years and they did all of those things and we say maybe they did do all of that and maybe it took some of that for them to get into the receptive mode but it's the receptive mode that you are witnessing not they're dragging their assets around assets assets <laughs> their assets around it's not they're dragging their assets around that's not what it is and so it doesn't matter we love it when you've had an experience where you've taken a big bounce we love it when contrast has put strong desires in your vortex just don't spend any time spend no time justifying anything by looking back don't ask for understanding of others they don't understand anyway don't ask for pity from them don't ask for help from them don't talk about it just feel happy about where you are in terms of this very powerful vortex that you've accumulated and get in the receptive mode and enjoy the feelings and thoughts thoughts first and feelings and other things that are coming as these magnificent vibrations are turning into experiences I and you already said much of that to us we just cleaned it up big time because you're doing this and this and this and this and this and this and maybe even the positive slightly bit more than the negative but you don't need to do the negative at all I don't even want to talk we don't about need the anymore. backstory what you want to say is oh I'm in a powerful place of attraction now what you want to say is oh and it was hard to get there don't say that because no. it wasn't hard to get there, and it was the most natural thing in the world to me and standing where I stand I can see so clearly why I'm standing where I am I feel more vital and alive than I've ever felt in my life I can feel that things are really working out well for me I can feel that the universe has my back and the source energy is with me I can feel that things are all lined up I know what my work is my work is receptive mode and oh I've always been really good at that I've always been really good at being able to focus and off you go Enough. Thank you. Yeah. It's really good. So I come here today. I've read nothing about you. I've never seen your videos. I've never seen you in person. I didn't really even look you up online other than to find out how to get here. And I came here by a woman who 
said you have to go see Abraham Hicks because you get it. Krista sent me here. And, Thanks um, a lot, Krista. <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm hearing you speak, a lot of things resonate with me. And what I'm sitting with right now is a couple things. One of the things I like to do is I love to use metaphors and I love to make people laugh. And those aren't always necessarily the best things, but the first thing is I want to go pee. And there's no bathrooms here, so I'm just putting that vibration out there that I'd like a bathroom. There are bathrooms, but the women have taken them all. Because women are more powerful. Yes. <laughs> more people <laughs> so <laughs> so my journey has a lot of the things that people have been saying have resonated with me and my belief is that I'm here speaking right now hopefully on behalf of someone else in the room speaking on behalf of most of the world who is doing all right who feels resonance with what the source within them knows who stumbles upon it occasionally recognizes it when they do does not focus seriously in order to stay there usually but has managed to hold themselves in a close enough vibrational frequency to their own desire that they're beginning to translate some vibration into things by rendezvousing with someone who says to them there is something of value for you here that might take you into a little more deliberate creation of a purposeful life people don't need to be here they don't need to hear these words in order to do what they came to do when they decided to be in this physical body contrast is going to be here whether you hear us say it or not and contrast is going to serve you whether you hear us say it or not and you're going to launch vibrational rockets of desire whether you hear us say it or not and you're going to have a vibrational reality whether you hear us say it or not and the source within you is guiding you every step of the way whether you hear us say it or not you don't need to hear us but the benefit that you get from us and from Krista and from others the benefit is if we can convince you that it matters that you feel good if we can convince you that feeling good is good for you because feeling good is necessary in order for you to be in the receptive mode and when you are in the receptive mode then you have the whole of you focused in this moment in time and oh it's so much more delicious to have the whole of you focused in any moment in time than some fractured pinched off piece of you in other words it's so much better to be fully focused fully having a conversation with someone fully in love with life fully appreciating the beauty of whoever it is that you're focused upon it's so good to be tuned in tapped in turned on it's not necessary to be here to be that but sometimes it's helpful to be here to understand what you've been stumbling on and to sustain it you see there is truth around every corner because your inner being is wanting to guide you toward what's of greatest benefit for you but there's no one path and there's no one inner being that's going to guide you all to the same path in other words you are really diverse you are really different you are all brilliant and you're all loved and things are always working out for all of you no matter what we're glad you came we're glad that we have this conversation but you didn't need to be here in order to live happily ever after <laughs>